Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Prices on Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards have been absolutely tanking since the official release as of last week. Prices on the top most expensive chase cards from Scarlet and Violet have gone from the triple digits down to the mid double digits where some of the most expensive cards like the Miriam and the Maridon and Coridon, those are going for as low as $50 right now. So this set is incredibly affordable right now. Scarlet and Violet basically on the TCG player price guide, it looks like it's going to cost you right around $500 to pick up all the cards that you want from this set. That is actually not that bad considering that $500 is right around four booster box and honestly it's probably better for you to pick up all the cards for $500 rather than opening up four booster boxes because you're probably not going to get all the hits that you need from four booster boxes so you're better off actually buying singles. Isn't that crazy? Buying singles is actually the way to go and considering that's only been a week, prices are probably going to continue to drop over the next couple of weeks and months as more and more people open up Scarlet and Violet. What this means is that the Scarlet and Violet base set is probably going to be super affordable, which I honestly think is great. We don't need more expensive Pokemon card set. Honestly, with the last couple of sets, we've had so many different expensive chase cards, Giratina V-Star in Crown Zenith, Lugia V in Silver Tempest. We have Giratina V in Lost Origin going for $300 for a single card and the list goes on and on. There's $100 chase cards in pretty much every single modern Pokemon card set and while that is nice to have a flagship card, I think that's just completely unreasonable to expect people to be dropping $100 bills on expensive cardboard, which I, being a Pokemon collector, am fully aware how expensive this hobby is, which is why we do so many different videos talking about the best value for different Pokemon card products and what's the best way to budget yourself because yes, Pokemon card collecting is a very expensive hobby and I actually kind of appreciate that Scarlet and Violet is going to be a more affordable Pokemon card set. You can get all of the special art rare cards in the next couple of weeks for really affordable prices. There are no $100 or $200 cards inside of the Scarlet and Violet base set. But what this also means is that if you have a Scarlet and Violet booster box, you're almost completely likely to lose your money or lose value if you crack it open. You're not going to get back $120 or $140, which is how much you probably spent on a booster box, unless you got super lucky and you pulled a ton of special art rare cards, which is possible. You're about to get one inside of every single booster box. Looking at the official TCG player pull rates for special art rares. There's about one in every single 32 booster packs. You get 36 booster packs inside of a booster box. So you're likely to pull one single special art rare and every now and again, you might pull two. There are also rare scenarios where you do not get a single special art rare inside of your booster box. And the special art rares can really vary. There are some expensive ones like the Miriam and the Maridon and Coridon, which like I said, can go for 50 to $70. But there are other special art rares uh, like the Great Tusk, which are going for now 10 to $20. So even if you pull two or three special art rares, which is extremely unlikely, even then at the best case scenario, you're probably gonna be breaking even at best. So what this means is it's gonna really push out a lot of people who are trying to get into Pokemon card collecting purely for a profit because I don't agree with modern Pokemon card sets being a profitable experience, right? You can't be opening up brand new modern Pokemon card set and making money from it. That just doesn't make any reasonable sense. These cards are modern. They're brand new. There's tons of them. The Pokemon company can print as much as they want, so they should be affordable. These cards are meant to be played with. They're meant to be shown off, touch, and they're not really meant to be graded cards. Pretty much modern Pokemon cards should be played with. Back in the day, at least a couple of years ago, the only time when you really saw a graded Pokemon card was for vintage Pokemon cards. No one graded modern. Grading modern Pokemon cards was almost seen as a joke. And things have definitely changed. Is it okay to grade your Gardevoir EX or your Miriam Alt Art from Scarlet and Violet? You bet, you can grade whatever you want, 
But like I said, I believe modern Pokemon cards should be played with and I completely welcome these new affordable Pokemon card sets. Now it looks like Pokemon card sets beyond Scarlet and Violet are going to continue to have special art rares inside of the sets and that's great. That's absolutely great. A lot of these special art rare cards are going to continue to probably have the exact same pull rate, which is good. This probably means Pokemon collecting is probably going to mellow out a little bit. You're going to see a lot of people, a lot of hype beasts, a lot of people who are collecting Pokemon cards, trying to hold on to these sets just purely for value, are probably going to dip out of the hobby just because most of these sets and this is my prediction is the next Pokemon car set is not going to contain anything really expensive either. This is just going to continue on as a trend where modern Pokemon card sets, the most expensive card is probably going to be like a $40 card, which is completely reasonable. So that's my thought on Scarlet and Violet. I think it's a really solid set. It's not the best set we've ever seen, not compared to Crown Zenith but it is not a bad set by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, prior to Evolving Skies, it'll probably beat every other set before Evolving Skies. I think we've just been really spoiled with all these amazing Pokemon card sets that have been released recently, but Scarlet and Violet is a strong set. It's decent, and you're probably gonna have some decent fun just because the pull rates are really solid with Scarlet and Violet. You're gonna get something decent, a special art rare card, a full art rare, or hyper rare cards. I'm okay with Scarlet and Violet. I think the Pokemon company did a good job in shifting the direction of where things are headed, where modern Pokemon card sets have easier pull rates, the special art rares are easier to collect, and a lot of these cards are a little bit more on the affordable side, so we don't have $100 Pokemon cards in upcoming sets. That's my two cent. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think Scarlet and Violet was a good Pokemon card set? Have you opened up any booster packs? What have your pull rates been? Did you get any cool hits? Let me know what your thoughts are on Scarlet and Violet because I've been hearing a lot of mixed opinions. Some people say the pull rates are amazing and other people think it's dead on arrival. And I really don't think it's either of those. It's probably something more moderate or closer to in between. So definitely drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.